We are recording. Okay. So what you doing today, Steve? I'm making peanut brittle. This peanut is corn brittle. syrup. Gotta put in 10 pounds of corn syrup. You gotta use cold water on your hands. That way it won't stick to your hands. Oh. So, uh, how do you know when enough is enough? As soon as the scale moves up, then uh, I know it's, that's 10 pounds. Hmm. Not yet. <laughs> Is anything else going into it, or is it just yeah, uh, sugar? Just it, uh, uh, 14 pounds of sugar on top of this. Oh man, so really healthy. Yeah, huh? And then nine pounds of peanuts. Oh, and then I'm gonna put in about 15 pounds of sugar. Oh man, it's a real healthy, huh? Nine pounds of peanuts. Spanish peanuts. I mean, uh, number one peanuts, I call them. I think. Hmm. Not Spanish. Don't see it moved. I'll take your word for it. I wasn't paying attention, but. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it swing in there now. I'll put just a tiny bit more in. There we go. I gotta wash my hands off. So, how many pounds of sugar are going in there? Fourteen pounds. Fourteen pounds. Holy cow. We used to get 50 pound bags of sugar, and then before that we used to get 100 pound bags of sugar, and now they make them sm we get them smaller. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm sure it's kind of hard to sell a, a home cook a 100 pound bag of sugar, you know? 25 pounds, that's a little bit easier. No, I mean, from the bakery supply, they used to, used, used to be able to get the big bags, but they don't do that anymore, because so the truckers oh, hurt their back carrying oh. big bags. <laughs> Never would have guessed, you know? That's why. It's a good reason to stop though, you know? Yep. Gotta worry about the people that are actually moving it. Added two quarts of water. Alright. So just in case anybody was wondering what a bunch of sugar, corn syrup, and water looks like. Yep. There it is. It's all, and then turn the burners up. Let that cook and touch the boil. You add raw peanuts. Oh, once it's been. But it has to be raw peanuts. If you use cooked peanuts at home, you only add them in your brittle the last five minutes. Otherwise, you're going to get burnt peanuts. Mm. It's too cooked. You got to let them cook in there. Yeah, these are raw, so they get cooked in the batch. Whereas for most of the peanuts, you get it when you make peanut brittle at home. And so those peanuts are already cooked, so you just throw them in the last five minutes before your brittle's ready. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. So you turn the uh, the burners up. I, I don't know if I've ever seen you do that for anything else. Is it... Um, These here? Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen you, like, you know, use the knobs before. They're down there. I don't know if Craig's it's ever shown that before, but... See the flame though? Oh yeah, right through that little hole there? Yep. That's pretty cool. So um, would you consider that like medium heat, high heat, you know? Oh, that's high heat. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just trying to blast it just to get it up to temp? Yeah, no. Yeah, we've got to get it up to 260 degrees and then you take the top off. Hmm. And then when it starts to boil in the beginning, when it starts to boil and you add the peanuts and then you let it go to 260, then you take the top off and then watch it from there to make sure it's 285. You go over 285, it's going to be burnt tasting. Yeah, alright. And okay. that's it. Alright, so I saw, saw the thermometer come out. What do we got going on oh, over yeah. here? Now? It's ready. Okay, we're Ooh, look at that. Minute, so look at that bubbling. Don't that's pretty. Yeah, it, looks hot. it is. Yeah. I promise you, it is. Oh, it and I can, good. I can smell it. There's some sugar on the burner. Yep. And it's burning. Is that why they call it a burner? Nothing like some burnt sugar. There's no name. It's 
Smells like Discovery Zone for all the kids that were my age, you know. <laughs> Discovery Zone, is that still around? No. I'm surprised Chuck E. Cheese is, honestly. Hey Steve, are you ready? Okay. I'm right, so. That's huh? good. One ounce. What are you adding there, Terry? A little bit of salt. I know it looked like sugar, but it wasn't. <laughs> Enough sugar in there already? Yeah. Maybe some corn syrup and whatnot. Heavy on the whatnot. <laughs> or the whatnot, whatever. Oh. Okay, now. <laughs> I hope you, I hope, okay, now meant um, put the baking soda in, Terry. No. See, no, answered Terry. my next question. Okay, and, and, uh, uh, nice squeeze by you. Clear. You certainly may. So how can you sift it? Because otherwise there will be lumps. You know how you don't want lumps in your taters? Yeah. You don't want lumps of baking soda in your peanut brittle either. And that's Gary Adams with Gary Adams Plumbing. He gets all the free advertising <laughs> he wants. <laughs> He's the best plumber ever in the history of plumbing. Do you have the uh, the plumber's history book upstairs? I, I yeah, thought I, I saw it peeking out on the book. And the soft cover version. Wow. And I also have it on my Kindle. So he, there. He gets a trophy for being a good guy. Yeah. Yeah, he seems he seems like a stand-up stand, guy. He's a stand-up guy. Hmm. Oh wow, so that's rising real quick, huh? Kind of a lot. Look at that, it looks so different from yeah. <laughs> like ten seconds ago. Okay, Steve's so gonna hmm. put the paddle there now. Is the word on the street? Look at that, the street knew what was up. It's the word on Heaven Street. Look at that. Doesn't that look tasty? I feel like tasty things. Work until you, you know, wash stuff. We do like to wash stuff. <laughs> that makes of, I think that's important. One of our favorite <laughs> things. Huh. So, so now what are you guys doing? You're just flattening it out so it's thinner? Or? We're getting the foam down, and yes, it's going to cool it off a little bit by spreading it out so that all the cool air hits it. Yeah, just cooling it down. And then just spreading it all over the table, so you know, the table's cooler than the brittle. So that uh, right. is one more cooling factor. Using your surroundings. You gotta use what you have available to you. You guys we need the scissors? just happen to have this marble table. <laughs> just happened to just have Just happened to have this marble table. <laughs> it was just lying around? Mm-hmm. It's a good thing it came in handy, huh? I know. Yeah, look at that piece of marble. Yeah, it's just like two inches thick. Yeah. Yeah. You know how they say during a storm, like a tornado, you should hide under a heavy piece of furniture? <laughs> yeah, that's it. I feel like that could crush you. <laughs> <laughs> if those legs gave out, uh oh. Now, what was it that you put on the table here? On the, on the just a vegetable shortening. Just a shortening. Yep. Yep. See, I'm learning too yet. Yeah. yeah. This is my first day, too, man. Yeah. We're in you know, the same boat. This is Gary Adams. The there he is. From Lafayette, New York. The pumpkin man. The pumpkin man. Yep. He also grows. What's the biggest pumpkin you ever grew, Gary? 1,634 and a half pounds. Unbelievable. 18 yeah. feet around. Seriously? It's oh a my. room. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. That's bigger than Craig's bedroom. That's Cinderella's uh, carriage. That's what I'm thinking. It is big. It went to the uh, New York uh, Giants football team. Oh, wow, man. That's like an honor, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Send it to the Giants. Yeah. Do you ever uh, you ever bring them to the fair or anything? Yeah, I had uh, two of them there last year. Oh yeah, about twelve hundred pounds. That's insane, the little ones, man. Little ones. Yeah, the, I lost a plant, so I brought them there and put them on display. Hmm. I don't know. That's the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen is like this big. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's crazy. They're a lot of work. 
Yeah. You know, plants about a thousand square feet. We got to bury the whole plant. Oh, it's like vine work or something? What's that? It's like vine work or something? Yeah. I, you know, I don't really know much about pumpkins. Very hard to grow. Hmm. Hey, man. A lot of work. Lot you keep of going work. back year after year, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Except for this year. Once you get one that's 1,600 pounds, right? You're probably like, hey, I'm, I'm I can do this. I'm over a ton, you know? Really? Yeah? Yeah. That's what I'm trying. Is there like a limit, like to how big they can get? Or I grew one last year over in Belgium in a greenhouse, uh, twenty six hundred and thirty four pounds. <laughs> oh, what was the, the circumference on that? I don't know. Big. Big. <laughs> <laughs> At least eighteen. All it's right. It's all so in the thickness of the the shell. Oh. Mine went light. It taped over a ton. When they taped it, they said it'd be over a ton. If it was a little thicker or something? But it was probably 12 inches thick. You know, but it should have been about 18 inches thick, you know. Hmm. I'll be, let me see what I can find. I'll be back. Okay, right. we'll stay right here. Yeah. We'll keep making bread off. <laughs> okay. I'll be here thinking about pumpkins. I don't know about should we you put guys. a little bag aside for you to take home with you? It's a no-brainer. <laughs> take that as a yes. As a yes. Yes. Who wants that stuff? Go I want to watch. I'm watching. I want to okay, see on. you cut it. It won't have any chocolate on it, but, you know, it'll be good. Well, I got to ask you, Terry, how come you're cutting it? Because it's too big to flip this whole thing over there. Oh. See? Bingo. Yeah, we missed Steve see, putting I'm on his special gloves, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's fun down here, man. Yeah, it's like magic too. You know? It's an Ooh. art. Everything's handmade. Yep. Yeah, it's a craft, man. You know, Master craft. Nobody does this anymore. No, it's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any uh, tips and tricks for stretching it out? Yes, and I'm glad you asked that. Start well, at the wondering. edges and save the center for less because it will stay hot longer. Okay. And if you suck your abs in while you're doing it, you get a good workout for your okay. abs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and are you guys, uh, you just stretching it out a little bit? Are you trying to stretch it out across the whole countertop? I'm gonna try to use the whole counter. And apparently they must have had it especially made just for this. <laughs> they knew, huh? Yeah. It's probably a little weird to say, but I, I feel like this slab right here in the middle is like staring me down right now. <laughs> Go on, I dare you to stretch. Yeah, right. <laughs> you think you can stretch me? You can't. You already stretched. You already already did the mini stretch and uh, flip on the middle one, right, Steve? Uh, what? You already did the flip on the. You already. Yeah, okay. flip. Yep. I said the mini stretch and the flip. <laughs> Mine. Uh, so, why do you guys want it so thin? What's uh, what's the deal it's with that? It's not us that wants it. It's the people that want it. People want mm. thin griddle. That's just the, what they want. You have to give the people what they want. That's true. They'll get mad at you. Can't give them what they don't want. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they will get candy rage. Nobody wants that. Yeah, I've heard sugar rushes can turn ugly pretty quick, so... Yep. It's just a sea of candied peanuts. Mm -hmm. Here you go, start the next batch. Can you cut this one? I sure can. Mm -hmm. Oh, more cutting now? <laughs> Where'd she go? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> gotcha. I ran with scissors. <laughs> oh. Hope my, mom not, down, I mean. hope my mom's not watching. Right. Point lasers in her eyes, Mr. Dan. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you right. better watch right. out. <laughs> All right, so now we're cutting it up some more. What's What's going on with What's that? the purpose of that? Yeah. Well, we're going to put it in a case that measures 16 inches by 16 inches. So we figured if we put it cut into pieces that measure that 
size, that would be fit even better. You won't have to sm smash it down. Two and two is four. Yeah. Two. Oh, yep, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at that I mean, quick I don't math. have a calculator here, so yeah. it's kind of like, uh, kind of like <laughs> a pop quiz. Yeah, I didn't mean to put you on the spot there. Yeah. I apologize for that. Well, but you did really well, if Thank that makes you, you feel better. Thank you. I know they say I always be prepared for a pop quiz, and mm -hmm. it wasn't. See? You think because you're out of school, you're not going to get pop I quiz. I know, I know. It can happen anywhere. Apparently. And then, when we're done with this, we'll turn the fan on and cool it off a little bit. Is that what that's there for? Oh, man. <laughs> Am I taking up some of your room here, Steve? Nope. It's okay, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> He's used to tight spaces. Should have seen him crawling under that sink earlier. <clears throat> I'm sure he did it with a smile on his face. Yeah. Nothing <laughs> Steve likes more than... Is it true, Steve? Is it true? Nothing I like more than doing candy and plumbing and everything out once. <laughs> You know what would have been fun is if you threw in a little bit of electrical. Mm. Or if Kara had another problem with her car. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, are you going to look at that alternator belt? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a timing belt. Even better. Okay, I think that's good for now. These look like good sized pieces. Alright, so we are back again to show the brittle getting packed up. Goes in the case and then later on at a convenient time we'll box them up half pounds and pound bags do you do, boxes. Do you do quarters for a brittle too? Or? Uh, I don't know if there's quarters or not. Right. And, uh, any tips and tricks for packing up peanut brittle? Try not to break it. <laughs> a lot, uh, lot easier than it looks. <laughs> or, no, harder than it looks. There you go. This is a 20, like 24 pound batch of brittle. And now, will it fill up the, the box all the way? Or? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah? Alright, well, I guess I'll put the camera down and start helping you then. That's it.